All right. <laughs> so, passage three, no title. Uh, in case if there is no title with a passage, then what will you do? Read the first paragraph. When there is no title, what are you going to do? Read the first paragraph. Chelsea Rockman, an ecologist at the University of California, Davis, has been trying to answer a dismal question. Is everything terrible or are things just very bad? Oh, this is the title, actually. This is the mistake in the book. They have not highlighted it. It's not bold and all that. This is the title of the passage. And what is that? Is everything terrible? Or are things just very, very bad? Now, is everything terrible or are things very, very bad? Okay. All right. Smile. Okay. No worries. Now, we go to questions. Oh, thank goodness. True, false, not given. 27 to 33. Excellent. One word only. 34 to 39. And question number 40. MCQ, single MCQ. And when there is single MCQ, it is based on all the passage. And it's question number 40. For that, you will not read any paragraph. You will just consider whatever you have read throughout the paragraph, and then you're going to answer that very question. So where should we start with? True, false, not given, or one word only? One word only. That's better. By this time, you will be familiar with the passage, and you can do true, false, not given easily. Questions 34 to 39, complete the notes below. Choose one word only from the passage for each answer. Findings related to marine debris. Now let's go back and look for marine debris. Findings related to marine debris. Debris. Okay, it's uh, there in first paragraph and second line, marine debris. Findings, okay. Findings, look for findings related studies. Marine debris found the biggest threats were. Okay, look for the threats. Biggest threats were. All right, actually, it's the second last paragraph on title page. They say here, within the studies, they looked at. Now, within the studies they looked at, studies of marine debris found the biggest threats were. Now, they looked at, so it can be the threats or anything like that. Now, please come to question number 34. One more thing. Can you see they use the word plastic, yeah. not metal or wood? Now, the word plastic and metal and wood you will find in second last paragraph. Okay, so sometimes title and then the question both. Question number 34. Bits of debris that were dash harmful to animals. Bits of debris that were. Now listen, whenever they use the word that is, that was, answer is usually adjective. So bits of debris that were dash harmful to animals. Now which bits of debris were harmful to animals? Second last paragraph, let's read it together. Within the studies, they looked at most of the proven threats came from plastic debris rather than other materials like metal or wood. Most of the dangers also involved large pieces of debris, animals getting entangled in trash. Large pieces of debris. Come back to question. Bits of debris that were large. Now, bits of debris, what is the word for that? Pieces, absolutely. For bits, they use the word pieces. And debris that were large. And again, I tell you, uh, whenever they say that is large, that, there they use adjective. And that adjective comes before the noun. What is the noun in question number 34? Debris. Okay, so whenever they say debris that were or debris that is, answer usually come before that word. And that is actually large pieces of debris. Large pieces of debris means debris that was large. 
ओके डेब्रिस इज द वर्ड फॉर मलबा यू नो मलबा पुराने घर का मलबा गंद का मलबा कूड़े का मलबा एंड ऑल दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव देर वॉज लिटल रिसर्च इन टू अंडरलाइन लिटल रिसर्च इन टू डैश फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम सिंथेटिक फाइबर सिंथेटिक फाइबर लिटल रिसर्च इन टू समथिंग इट्स द वेरी नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ बट अ लॉट ऑफ ओशन डेब्रिस इज माइक्रो प्लास्टिक और पीसेस स्मॉलर देन फाइव मिलीमीटर्स दीज may be ingredients used in cosmetic and toiletries fibers shed by synthetic clothing okay now you got to read on listen read on and be careful uh okay i'm reading it again please follow me and focus we are doing academic reading part 3 it is highly difficult thing okay so but a lot of ocean debris is microplastic Microplastic means very small pieces or pieces smaller than five millimeters. These may be ingredients used in cosmetics and toiletries. Fibers shed by synthetic clothing in the wash or eroded remnants of larger debris. Compared to the number of studies investigating large-scale debris, Rockman's group found little research on the effects of these tiny bits. Now listen. little research on the effects of these tiny bits what is the word that he has used for tiny bits of plastic micro plastic answer came first a lot of explanation now by the way can you write your answer as these tiny bits because it's one word only so one word for these tiny bits is micro plastic and that is written as one word you will not write it micro and plastic so correct answer is microplastic okay just underline it find where the answer is and you can repeat it drawbacks of the studies examined now they are talking about the drawbacks most of them focused most of them can be scientists or anything most of them focused on individual animals not entire something look for the word animals next page first paragraph okay individual <laughs> all right first paragraph second page second line many studies have looked at how plastic affects an individual animal or that animals tissues or cells rather than whole population and by the way what is the word for whole excellent so you learned one thing again whole and entire and answer is population see that and this is how you will improve your english good readers are good writers you can improve your writing by reading good listeners are good speakers you can improve your speaking by listening answer is population and for entire they have used the word all okay then there is some gap we've got no, no, no gap question number 37 the dash of plastic used in the lab did not always reflect those in the ocean lab and ocean the dash of plastic used in the lab is the very next line lab is there okay after whole population please follow me and in the lab scientists often use higher concentrations of plastic than what's really in the ocean higher concentrations of plastic than what's really in the ocean come back the dash of plastic used in the lab did not always reflect those in the ocean concentration they use the word here used in the lab did not always reflect those in the ocean and what is there they used and in the lab scientists often use higher concentrations of plastic than what's really in the ocean so higher concentration and for that they use the word the dash of plastic used in the lab did not always reflect did not always reflect an higher concentration answer is concentration okay next we've got there was insufficient information on and then this question number 
before that they said numbers of animals and then the next point the impact of a reduction in numbers on the dash of that species now just focus the word reduction in numbers of uh, reduction in numbers the impact of reduction in numbers on the dash reduction in number of what reduction in number of what same paragraph third last line none of that tells us how many birds or fish or sea turtles could die from plastic pollution or how deaths in one species could affect that animals predators how deaths in one species could affect that animals predators on the rest of the ecosystem animals predators so what is the question the impact of a reduction in numbers on the predator of that species what is the word for species animals and what is the word for of that for of that they used apostrophe s of that for example uh, mobile of yasin it means yasin's mobile right friend of komal komal's friend or best friend no 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 it's a different story okay so predator is the right answer okay question number 39 rockman says more information is needed on the possible impact of future dash now future is the important word more information is needed on the possible impact of future dash for example involving oil for for example eg they use such as next paragraph we need to be asking more ecologically relevant questions that means we need more information rockman says usually scientists don't know exactly how disasters such as a tanker accidentally spills a whole cargo of oil and polluting huge areas of the ocean will affect will affect the environment so don't know exactly how disasters such as disasters such as and for such as they use the word eg answer is no they used eg for such as what is the word before such as disasters absolutely read it again usually scientists don't know exactly how disasters so rockman says more information is needed on the possible impact of future disasters now what is the word for more information is needed scientists don't know exactly okay that is for that and what is the word for future will affect the environment will is the future word here okay and how do we know answer is disasters very good clue is eg eg is for example and for that they said such as tanker accidentally spilling its whole cargo of oil right eg is such as and before that the word is disasters is this clear now see that have you noticed one thing when you do sentence completion in part 1 it's easier <laughs> okay let's see hindi mein twacha kise kehte hain meri komal twacha okay what does it mean my soft skin yeah <laughs> so <laughs> questions 27 to 33 meri komal twacha so komal means soft yeah all right <laughs> do the following statements agree with the information given in the reading passage okay question number 27 <laughs> rockman and her colleagues now is it a rockman na bande wala rakha hai hai buddhi <laughs> See that rock man, rock man, yeah, yeah, <laughs> rock man and her colleagues. All right. Okay, like you say, what is your name? I am Arshad. <laughs> okay, but you are a lady. Yes, Arshad Bibi. So, 
Rock man, yeah, Nasim, yeah, Khawar, Nasim. We got male, female name. Anyways, Rock man, she should have named her Rock women. So Rock man and her colleagues were the first. Very simple, first people. If they were the first people to research the problem of marine debris, then answer is true. true. Okay, and if they were second, third, fourth, not first, then the answer is for. I mean, if they say people had already done some research into it, then it is false. false. And if they don't tell us anything, first, second, third, then it is not given. So encircle first people. First people. Fourth paragraph. One, two, three, four. It is the second paragraph, absolutely, yes. Okay, now please come to second paragraph. It's the, uh, uh, after title, it's the first paragraph. Rockman is a member of National Center, found it? Yes. Third line, after full stop. Plenty of studies have sounded growing problem of marine debris, also known as ocean trash. Plenty of studies have sounded growing problem. It means it was done before. Plenty of studies have sounded alarm bells about the state of marine debris. What's the question? Rockman, her colleagues were the first. No, plenty of studies have sounded alarm bells. So answer is false. And, and please come back to the passage. Alarm bells, please follow me about the state of marine debris in a recent paper published in the journal Ecology, Rockman, her colleagues set out to determine how many of those perceived risks are real. So, studies sounded and then Rockman and her colleagues set out to determine that. So, the question as they were the first ones, they were not the first ones, plenty of studies have sounded it already. So, question number 27, answer is false. Creatures most in danger from ocean trash are certain seabirds. Now, if and for certain seabirds, they will use the name like albatross is a seabird. Uh, there is one uh, we call it seagull. Seagull is a seabird. So if creatures most in danger from ocean trash, they are birds. Answer is true. If they are not birds, if they are like uh, whales and other animals, sea creatures, then it is false. And if they don't tell us, Certain birds, then it is not given. Second paragraph, well done. Second line, for example, a study could show that certain seabirds eat plastic bags and go on to warn that whole bird populations are at risk of dying out. But the truth was that nobody had yet tested those perceived threats. Rockman says there wasn't a lot of information. Come back to question. The creatures most in danger from ocean trash are certain seabirds. Answer is true. Very good. All right. All right. Let's focus again. I don't want to tell you the right answer. Let's focus again. Creatures most in danger from ocean trash are certain seabirds. Come back. Let's read second line. Second paragraph, for example, a study could show, has the study shown? It's the possibility. Whenever they use the word could, may, might, it's the possibility. The study has not shown anything. A study could show that certain seabirds eat plastic bags and go on to warn that whole bird populations are at risk of dying out. But the truth was that nobody had yet tested those perceived threats. Nobody had yet tested. When they have not even tested it, then how can you say the creatures most in danger from ocean trash are certain seabirds? They don't know. This thing is not mentioned because... The studies have not been done yet. So this thing that reaches most in danger, this phenomena, this fact is not given. Why not given? Go back and see. When they say this thing, a study could show. And when they say this thing, uh, absolutely, this is the thing. But the truth was that nobody had yet tested. So when they have not tested, this information is not given. This information will come when they are going to test and find the result. So question number 28, not given. 
Notice one thing, even true, false, not given is trickier than part one. Okay, and true, false, not given, they mostly, these question types repeat, they are repeated ones. Uh, first in part one and second in part three. Sometimes in part three, they are yes, no, not given, which are almost the same. Question number 29. Studies Rockman has reviewed have already proved. Now studies Rockman has reviewed have already proved. Underline have already proved that populations of some birds will soon become extinct. So studies Rockman has reviewed have already proved, if they have already proved, studies means research, that populations of some birds will soon become extinct. All right, for this you'll have to come back. Second paragraph. Got it? Second paragraph, or let's move on and see, just find it. How do we get to know? Which paragraph? Good. It's the third paragraph. All right, third paragraph, and uh, third paragraph is the one often Rockman says this one? Okay, uh, let's read the question again, please come back. The studies Rockman has reviewed have already proved that population of some birds will soon become extinct. So I'm reading this uh, second paragraph actually after the title, second paragraph. Often Rockman says, scientists will end a paper by speculating about the broader impacts of what they found. For example, a study could show that certain seabirds eat plastic bags and go on to warn that whole bull population are at risk of dying out. Now come to the question. Studies Rockman has reviewed. Now this is that study, have already proved. Now have the study proved it? No. Why not? Because they say a study could show. Yeah. So the study has not done. The same answer is here. For 29, correct answer is false. false. Yeah, listen, why false? They said studies have already proved. But the studies have not done that. I mean that thing. They use the word a study could show. Could show means possibility. If they are going to do research, that means study has not done yet or it has not been done yet. So 29, answer is false. 30, Rockman analyzed papers on the different kinds of danger caused by ocean trash. Underline Rockman analyzed papers and different kinds of danger. Different kinds of danger. Well done. Third paragraph. Rockman and her colleagues examined more than a hundred papers. What is more than a hundred? Different kinds of, yeah, the, uh, Rockman analyzed papers on different kinds of danger. Let's see, more than hundred papers and after that, what do they say? Okay, uh, papers on the impacts of marine debris that were published through 2013 Within each paper, they asked what threats scientists had studied. The 366 perceived threats in all. Now come back. Rockman analyzed papers on the different kinds of danger. What is the word for different kinds of danger? 366 perceived threats. Well done. Different kinds of dangers and 366 perceived threats. What's the answer? True, absolutely. Okay, question number 31. Most of the research analyzed by Rockman and her colleagues was badly designed. Underline badly designed. And most of, most of the research was badly designed. Very next paragraph. In 83% of cases, the perceived dangers of ocean trash were proven true. In the remaining 17, 
remaining cases the working group found the studies had weakness in design now listen 83% of please please follow me here just read the passage 83% of cases the perceived dangers of ocean trash were proven true now in the remaining what is remaining of 83% 17% cases the working group found the studies had weakness in design so 17% had weakness in design 83% they were fine come back now most of the research is it most of no, only 17%. 83% was fine, right? So the answer is false because it's not most of the research. It's just 13% or what? 17%. Yeah. Question number 32. One study examined by Rockman was expecting to find that uh, mussels were harmed by eating plastic. Now, mussels were harmed by eating plastic. One study examined by Rockman was expecting to find. Now, if they were expecting to find, mussels were harmed by eating plastic. Very next paragraph. Yes. Strikingly. Found it? Yes. Now, have you noticed good thing? Answers are coming systematically one after other. And you will have one minute. Listen, now you are doing it with me. You are listening to me. I'm making a lot of noise. You cannot concentrate on your own. Then you're reading the question. You try to read the passage and I'm telling you do this, do that. When you're going to do it all on your own, then gradually things will make sense and you'll be fine. So strikingly, Rockman says only one well-designed study fails to find the effect it was looking for an investigation of mussels ingesting microscopic plastic bits. Read this sentence again. Strikingly, Rockman says only one well-designed study failed to find the effect it was looking for an investigation for mussels ingesting microscopic plastic bits. One study examined by Rockman was expecting to find that mussels were harmed by eating plastic. Yes, but question is only one study examined by Rockman was expecting to find that mussels were harmed by eating plastic. So only one well-designed study failed to find the effect it was looking for investigating our mussels in this thing. The next line is the plastic moved from the mussel stomachs to their bloodstream scientists found and stayed there for weeks but didn't seem to stress out the uh, shellfish. So one study examined by Rockman was expecting to find mussels were harmed by plastic. Yeah, it should be not given. Yeah, because we don't find it. That is why it is not given. Why false? It is true, absolutely. Why true? That's right. One study examined by Rockman was expecting to find mussels were harmed by eating plastic. And what do they say? One well-designed study fails to find effect it was looking for. Now, fail to find the effects it was looking for, expecting to find. And then what is the word? What did you say? Were harmed. Yeah, but didn't seem to stress out the shelf. Yes, that's right. The last line. Okay, now let's go on. Please come to question 33, then we can go back to 32 again. Some mussels choose to eat plastic in preference to their natural diet. Choose to eat plastic in preference to their natural diet. Very next line. While mussels may be fine eating trash, though the analysis also gave a clearer picture of the many ways that ocean debris is bothersome. That's the last thing about mussels they discussed here. So some mussels choose to eat plastic. Have they mentioned anything? No. Maybe fine eating trash. Maybe fine eating trash, though the analysis also gave, but they did not mention that they chose to eat plastic. 33 is not given. All right, guys, question number 40. Now, you don't need to read anything in the passage. Whatever you have read already, for half minute, you can consider all this information. 
question is what would be the best title for this passage this passage is without title there is a line but what would be the best title <clears throat> four options option a assessing the threat of marine debris maybe yes yeah all right let's consider it option b marine debris who is to blame not at all cross it c a new solution to the problem of marine debris no option d marine debris the need for international action now see that elimination is the best way so b c d they are not the wrong uh, right answers what would be the best title assessing the threats of marine debris that is the right answer for question number 40 शादी होगी ठीक है अब हंसी हमको अब नहीं आती रो नहीं आता है अच्छा जी नाउ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन इन शाला गिव यू वेरी गुड टिप्स फॉर मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन इज वेल हाँ राय देखो मैंने यासीन से कहा कि कोई अच्छा सा वो नहीं होता एनक साफ करने वाला लिक्विड मैंने कहा लेक क्या होगा तो सर लिक्विड क्या करना है बनैन से एनक साफ किया कर <laughs> इसका दिस क्रेजी आइडिया सा एनी वेज यस नाउ topic psychology of innovation innovation means creativity creating new things so psychology of innovation and by the way once you start taking interest in ielts reading you will learn a lot these passages are full of information which you need right so psychology of innovation why are so few companies truly innovative you have seen just few companies are innovative and other companies they are not innovative so why are so few companies innovative psychology of innovation questions 27 to 30 multiple choice questions type a or type b type a questions and answers are in order number 1 number 2 uh you just have to read the question and go to the passage find the answer to that question which will be given in one sentence in the passage and then you come back to the passage and you have to match that sentence of the passage with one of the options a b c or d okay now let's go on question number 27 example of the million dollar quartet underline million dollar quartet quartet means where there are four people four things quartet and quintet quintet means five people this is from spanish cuatro and quartet from french i think example of million dollar quartet underlines the writer's point about now we will find million dollar quartet because it is in inverted commas and then we will see what is it that it underlines about writer's point so let's go back excellent third paragraph and we have this million dollar quartet there so please follow me i'm reading it third paragraph and everyone found it sun's million dollar quartet Okay now let's read it together Sun's million dollar quartet could have been a quintet quintet means five people okay now just read it carefully with me and imagine a uh, million dollar quartet means four people and they made million dollar and all that it could be a quintet quintet means they could add fifth person as well quartet but they it could be quintet missing from the picture is Roy Orbison a greatest natural singer than Louis perkins or cash sam phillips after full stop sam phillips who owned sun sun is that company they said sun's million dollar quartet so sam phillips who owned sun wanted to revolutionize popular music with songs that fused black and white music and country and blues now read this carefully a uh, presley cash perkins and lewis how many people for presley cash perkin and lewis instinctively understood philips ambition philip is that company's owner philips ambition and believed in it now look here they understood philips ambition and believed in it means four people believed in one thing they understood one thing and they believed in one thing now please come back 
Option A, recognizing talent. No, cross it. At the end, put a little cross. Option B, working as a team. No. Option D, D for doctor, being an effective leader. Not at all. Some options are no, some options are not at all. Option C, having a shared objective. When they say believed in it, understood his ambition and believed in it, that means having a shared objective. So correct answer, 27, option C. Let's go on. Question number 28. Please follow me here. James Watson suggests that he and Francis Crick, clue word is Francis Crick and James Watson. He and Francis Crick won the race to discover the DNA code because, look here, because means reason. Why did James Watson and Francis Crick win the race to discover the DNA code? What is the reason? Now let's go back. As I said, questions and answers are in order. Exactly. You find it on second page. So we've got Watson and all that. Okay, I'm reading it from here. To prove his point. Found it? To prove his point. Okay, I'm reading from here. To prove his point, Seladini cites an interview with molecular biologist James Watson. Found it? So we have to find the reason, like they, they uh, broke or they cracked the codes, uh, code of DNA, what is the reason? I'm reading from here. With molecular biologist James Watson, Watson together with Francis Crick discovered the structure of DNA, the genetic information carrier of all living organisms. When asked, now it is important, when asked how they had cracked the code ahead of any array of highly accomplished rival investigators, he said. Now, this is the reason. See, what is the question? When asked how, how means question, why, or how he did that. And then he, uh, he said, he said means reason. He said something that stunned me. Now, what he said? He said he and Crick. He means both. both. He means what is the name of other person? Watson, he and Crick had succeeded because they were aware that they weren't the most intelligent of the scientists. Look here, when you are aware that you are not the most intelligent person, it means you know your limitations. When I know I'm not the most intelligent IELTS trainer, I mean, it means I know my limitations. Please come back. Option A, were conscious of their own limitations. Now let's read option B. Brought, co brought complementary skills to their partnership. Ah, you know, sometimes, ah, never. Option C, were determined to outperform their brighter rivals. No, not at all. Option D, encouraged each other to realize their joint ambition. Never. So correct answer is A. Very good. C, for multiple choice, whether it is listening or reading, elimination is the best technique. Elimination means this is not the right answer. Question number 29. Writer mentions competitions on breakfast cereal packets. Now, clue word, breakfast cereal packets. So, writer mentions competitions on breakfast cereal packets as an example of how to breakfast cereal packets and they had a competition of that so as an example of how to now please come back look for breakfast cereals second page, second page all right uh, last paragraph on left side got it second page last paragraph on left side and they use the word competition on breakfast cereals got it i'm read, reading it from second last line so please follow me uh, second page of the passage left column, last paragraph, second last line. It is, he says the reason why. Got it? Okay, now please follow me. It is, he says the reason why all those competitions on breakfast cereal packets encouraged us to write in saying in no more than 10 words, I like Kellogg's Corn Flakes because. Now what did they do? They asked the participants or people to write. 
right to uh, uh, packets encouraged us to write in saying in no more than 10 words i like kellogg corn flakes because the very act of writing very act of writing means you know the people say write your goals motivational speakers they say write your goals down and all that the very act of writing makes us more likely to believe it when we write our goals we believe them now let's find an option which matches with this option a okay the writer mentions competitions on breakfast cereal packets as an example of how to option a inspire creative thinking no option b generate concise writing Concise writing means how to write short sentences. Option C, promote loyalty to a group. No. Option D, strengthen commitment to an idea. When you write it, it strengthens your commitment to an idea. So for that, they said the very act of writing makes us more likely to believe it. It strengthens our commitment. Okay. Question number 30. In the last paragraph, the writer suggests that it is important for employees too. Something is important for employees. Last paragraph, right? The writer suggests that it is important for employees too. Now, please come to last paragraph. Okay, I'm reading it from one, two, three, fourth line. Seladini says, found it? Okay. Leaders should encourage everyone to contribute and simultaneously assure all concerned that every recommendation is important to making the right decision and will be given full attention. Okay, let's read it from the beginning also. The same paragraph. Many theories believe the ideal boss should lead from behind, taking pride in collective accomplishment and giving credit where it is due. And then leaders should encourage everyone to contribute and all that. Now, please come back. In the last paragraph, the writer suggests that it is important for employees to option A, be aware of their company's goals. No. Option B, feel that their contributions are valued. Yes. Option C, have respect for their co-workers' achievements. Not at all. Option D, understand why certain management decisions are made. Never. Some options are not at all, never, not possible. So correct answer is option B. Abhi ye 31 to 35. Isko kehte hai sentence completion ye karte hai. Okay guys, now we go on. We have IELTS reading part 3. Questions 31 to 35. Even if you're in a difficult situation, smile, laugh, enjoy. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, kuch log aaj ko dekh ke bana lete hai. Don't worry. Now, this is what we call sentence completion with a box. They will give you a box and you have to complete the sentence. Half sentence is given in the questions. Second half sentence is given in the options and options are more than questions. Now, by the way, tell me, are the questions and answers in order? No. Yes. Tanu zyada pata hai? Teacher, mein ke to see ho. Questions and answers are in order. All right, so don't worry about it. Okay, now you will not read the options. First of all, you will read the question. After reading the question, you will go back to the passage, find the place where there is the answer. You will find the second sentence. Half sentence is given. Half sentence will take you to the part of the passage where there is the answer. Then from there, you will find the second half. And then you will match it with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Kitna asaan hai, hai? Ghar ja ke kar lijiega. Question number 31. Employees whose value match those of their employers are more likely to. Now, employees, their values match with their employer. Like they have the same values, right? They are more likely to dash. Please come back. Employees and employer. No. Employees and employer. Please come to second paragraph. Fifth line. First page, second paragraph, fifth line, research shows. Got it? Yes. Okay, research shows that the fit between an employee's value, see that? The clue word? Okay. 
research shows that the fit between an employee's values and a company's values makes a difference to what contribution they make and whether two years after they join they are still at the company look here two years after they join they are still at the company find for find something for that two years after they join they are still at the company right two years after they join they are still at the same company remain in their jobs right two uh, two years after they join and they are remain in their jobs so option g is the right answer for question number 31 now please cross g g ke upar chota sa cross laga de will not use it again it will be used only once clear now yes that is what we call matching that is in order uh no questions are not in order but the names of scientists are in order okay now let's go on question number 32 at times of change what's the clue word change at times of change people tend to what is it that people do at times of change i said questions and answers are in order so please look for the word change well done T title page 1 2 3 fourth fourth paragraph the value of fit matters got it okay now the value of fit matters says seladini because innovation is in part a process of change clue word has come now when time changes what do the people do let's read on in part a process of change and under that pressure we as a species have different behavior when things change get ready answer is coming when things change we are hard wired to play it safe look here when we play it safe we avoid risks well done go back absolutely avoid risks so what is the word avoid risk and play it safe now cross e also will not use it second time Question number thirty-three. If people are aware of what they might lose, they will often look here. If people are aware what they might lose, they will often. Same paragraph. Okay, please come back. All right. I'm reading the same paragraph from third last line. Studies show that. Found it. Yes. Studies show that we invariably take more gambles when threatened with a loss. Take. more gambles find the synonym of that take more gambles take chances option a take more gambles and that means we take chances cross a also for 33 correct answer is a question number 34 people working under a dominant boss are liable to if the boss is dominant oi ki kar rahe hain something like that okay so if people are uh, if people working under dominant boss they are liable to do something boss look for the word boss liable boss third last paragraph authority doesn't have to inhibit innovation found it third last paragraph of the passage authority doesn't have to inhibit innovation but it often does the working kind of leadership will lead to what celarini calls kept uh, captainistis the regrettable tendency of team members now of team now let's go on he says here the regrettable tendency of team members A authority means the boss is authoritative to team mem of team members to opt out of team responsibilities that are properly there so what do they do they opt out of team responsibilities that are properly there ignore their duties well done okay so for ignore their duties they use the word tendency of team members to opt out of team responsibilities opt out of team responsibilities that means ignore their duties so f is gone Question number thirty-five: Employees working in organizations with few rules are more likely to. Employees with uh, working with few rules, what are they more likely to do? Second. Rule. Second last paragraph. Now please follow me. I'm reading second last paragraph from the beginning. Second last paragraph from the beginning. 
at the uh, on the uh, at the other end of the scale is the 1980s memphis design collective a group of young designers for home the only rule now be alert the only rule was that there were no rules this environment encouraged a free interchange of ideas which led to more creative with fo uh, with form function color and materials that revolutionized ideas to furniture design so absolutely option b share their ideas and what is the word for share their ideas exactly they said free interchange of ideas interchange of ideas means share ideas right so for question number 31 answer is g 32 e 33 34 35 b that's great thank you